Hello, and welcome to episode six of Design Hander. I am ready. I'm so excited to get this sheet done. Um, I've been really happy with the progress we've been making, and today I'm hoping that we get through the rest of the magic sheet and then the profession sheet. Um, so yeah. Um, let's just get right to it because I've been like just in like a design role these past this past couple weeks just because I've been back at work and I've been working on a lot of other projects and I'm just like I'm just like yes let's go so we'll go ahead and get started um let's switch over to the designing uh scene I should have everything up already well yep I do yes great okay so this is where we left off last week and i guess before i do that again i uh, have chat up i can see chat um so if you want to talk with me and um ask me questions or comment on stuff i'm totally cool i will do my best to look at chat every once in a while and answer questions and chat back with you while i'm working so anyway this is where we left off last week last week we finished the um combat profile and we started working into the magic sheet um because i thought that the profession sheet is pretty chill like there's not a lot it's just filling in your skill your your um whatever pff, gosh words geez um uh, your profession things and that's pretty much it and just marking off stuff and just a way to track your progress in your profession so I was saving that for last because it should be pretty chill and easy. Um, so this is where we were at with the magic. And I was, I remember last time I was trying to figure out whether, how magic, the magic sheet should be set up because I know from my experience playing Zwahinder, um, the magic is a little bit, um, it's not super intuitive. Um, you really have to be like inundated in it for a while to like understand it. I think by like session eight, I was finally like able to get a grasp of it. Um, but I had already made my own cheat sheet that I wrote in my, my bullet journal to, to do cast magic and all that and do the rules of magic. And so I thought it would be very handy for the magic sheet to actually have basically my cheat sheet of like the rules, the casting magic, the the cost of the spells, uh, the AP cost, um, the 
difficulty ratings for them and then how what happens with channeling power um, because that was stuff that came up a lot and um, I had to keep flipping back and forth and I thought it would be just nice to have it on the sheet and there was a lot of space for it uh, to begin with so or from the original sheet there was still a lot of unused space that we could have played around with so this is where we're at and like usual I took some time today before the stream to just play around with it because um I don't know it just it's it's <laughs> I worry sometimes that it's just too much of me clicking around and not enough talking but I also know that I find watching design stuff uh soothing so uh maybe you guys like it but I just personally took some time today for my own just my own mental uh getting mentally ready for this show and play with it so I will switch over to that tab version five of the um the sheet in illustrator so here's where i got today with magic um remember we had spells we had rituals we had regents we had the the cheat sheet and we had the the stuff up top i'm like making hand gestures i don't know if you can see them but anyway i'm motioning to parts of the sheet but let's go ahead and switch over to the the one i got where i got to today for about like i don't know 15 20 minutes beforehand okay so this is where i ended up with the sheet today, this magic profile, and I'm not sure what we should call it. It was just called magic sheet, but I adjusted the, on the left-hand side, I adjusted the rules of magic, cast magic, spell AP cost, because as I was playing with it, I realized um, that this was, we needed space for the regents. I liked the spell set up a lot like the weapons, because um, that's what I did. Like, if you're gonna do it one way, um, with the weapons, you know, spells are weapons too, I guess. So we should probably do the same kind of like setup. Um, and then I did the rituals like this because I was looking at the book and the rituals and spells are not the same. They don't have the same categories that you see across the top here. They actually had a casting time, regions, condition, channeling power, difficult rating, consequences, effect. Now, I only gave space for two rituals. Um, I don't know if that's something that, you know, over long periods of use, there might be more. Um, people can pick up more rituals. I know that my experience, I, again, I only played eight sessions. I didn't play like a full length campaign or anything. And I was picking up rituals and spells and advancing. Um, I think two should be enough at the beginning. I only have one ritual for a while, um, but I'm not sure. And it's one of those things where it's, it's, I don't know. Um, and I would consult with uh, the designers to see if this is enough. Um, because I guess if you really wanted to, you could make another sheet that's just a spell book sheet um, and have more available printout for people who want to who could potentially get more than two rituals. But this is where I landed. Um, rules of magic, all that cheat sheet on the left still. I spaced up the stuff up top. I needed more space for spells and more space for rituals. So I ended up having the regents at top. Um, again, my use of the game, my use of the sheet, I really did not like have a ton of regents. I usually only, you know, I for my three spells I started out with, you know, I have three regions and you know i there's enough space on here i think that you could write everything out that you needed and then of course this stuff over here um so now this is where i'm like okay this is where i want it before i do any finessing i'm gonna go ahead and move on to finishing the last thing that i needed to work on today which is the profession profile and i kind of started it already um so to let you guys know what it looked like before it was a lot like this um, this is a little bit broken up, but there wasn't really a lot on this page. So I thought, well, we can space it out. We can make it uh, fit with the other look and feel of the other pages of the character sheet as well. Um, and then um, divvy it up and just kind of make it cohesive look across. And then also you had more space, so let's make it bigger. So where I'm at right now is doing all these little lines. Um, I was going to do them before the show, but I was like, then I wouldn't have anything to, to have you guys watch and I and, and talk with. So um, I think what I'm going to do right now is get into 
design mode, working in illustrator mode, which means I'm gonna put on some music because otherwise you're just gonna hear me in silence breathing and I don't know, that's probably not fun. Um, let me turn this down, okay, cool. Put some music on, this is my 30 minute track of some music. Okay, we'll go up a little bit. Mm -hmm. We don't want it to be too, too loud. Sorry, I'm adjusting it on my end. Okay, so where are we at here? I need to work on um, all this, spacing this stuff out. Turn this music down on my end so that way I can hear myself think. Okay, so I think we're gonna get through the profession profile and then we can probably work on finessing everything. That means going through, making things are aligned up, kind of going back over stuff. I still have those fate points, reputation points to think about. Uh, last episode, I didn't know what to do with them. So, all right, profession, this is not true. We want this to say trait. Trait. Okay, and then trait has all this stuff. I think I'm gonna work on this. Um, let's see, what size font is this? Okay, that's good, 12 is not bad. 12 is great. Um, I want this to be aligned. The bottom of this, my favorite tool in the world. Nope, it's aligning to what? That's fine. We're gonna do some cheating here. I'm going to do that, line that there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, more to go. One. Eight. Okay. Cool. Now align to selection and it should space it out beautifully. Great, it did. And I want this to align to this. I'm going to, I think I'm gonna make these bigger because I thought they were pretty small when I printed them out. Okay. So I guess I can chat while I design. I usually do this when I'm doing my, um, other design streams, um, personal design streams, um, but I've been doing um, page layout right now for someone's supplement. Uh, I've been doing, uh, which had a character sheet also was part of the project. That was super fun. Um, and we were talking uh, about it or just emailing back and forth. And one of the things um, my client was talking about was like how printer friendly um, the sheet is uh, because it's just very, it was very minimal and it didn't have a lot of like gradients or weird, um, that doesn't look right. Does that look right? No, that doesn't look aligned. Maybe I should do it in the middle. Now I'm off to, I'm starting a conversation. I can, I've got myself all kerfuffle brain right now. I'll go back to my conversation in a second. I think what I was trying to get at was um, sometimes you see character sheets that are like really like cool design with lots of gradients and it's like full color and um, has some really cool design elements. But then you have to think about like where people, how are people printing that off? Um, and how much toner it's gonna <laughs> take to print stuff. And so I am biased. Did my computer just freeze? My computer just froze. Okay, there it goes. Whew. Okay. I think we're okay now. All right. Maybe. Maybe, jeez. I like how I keep trying to have a conversation and uh, my computer 
is speaking, distracting me. I guess that's aligned. Oh my gosh. What is happening? My computer can't handle this. Okay, that was very strange. Why are you not aligning to... I would like you to align to this so you're centered in the bot. There we go. Thank you very much, computer. So yeah, thinking about how people are going to be printing your character sheets is a, a, a thing to think about too. Like, are they going to be doing it at home? Do they have access to full color? Probably not. Um, so it's good to always design uh, black and white. Or, you know, very minimal. Not a lot of not a lot of stuff to take up toner. Okay. So we've got the trait. Trait. Okay. I'm gonna make this longer. Okay, I'm gonna bring this down. Boom. Now I don't have to do it twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. BA. Interesting. TA, which would be talent, I believe. Come on, fingers. I believe in you. Okay, cool. See, look at that. That one is more spaced out. Why did that happen? Because I never aligned the selection. Of course I didn't. to selection okay that's better hmm not lined up now because I messed that up is it nope so that's another thing too that I I hate about the human mind human brain um, and things is like mathematically and everything these are aligned this is center aligned center aligned but my brain is like no that's not aligned but it is let's just yep well let's just go ahead and give it more space because why not why not Okay, cool. We could probably give this more space too. And then I, but I don't want to, I can't make a group of artists that are within, yeah, um, it's not though. What are you talking about? So I'm going to not space this all the way down the bottom because I have to have space for unique advances. So I'm gonna bring this up and there. Will I have enough? Will that be enough? Will it be enough? I don't know. I need to put here that this is 100 Aurora points. Why is it so tiny? What is wrong with you? This 100 is so small. Great. You're not a hundred RP, you're something else, but one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Um two hundred and three hundred. Two. Three. Alright, so I gotta get a space down here for unique advances. Um I think it was a couple of lines. But I'm gonna do what I did for like regions and stuff. Where I have like 
a broken up area. Um, okay. I might have to make more room. Oh, oh no. Somebody got left behind. Group, group that. A lion got left behind. Another. <clears throat> I grouped it, so why? Why? I feel like I spend a lot of time asking my computer and my programs, why? Why are you like this? Why do you hate me? Okay, let's look. So now I can just do this because we built that. Turn the music down for me. Okay. So we'll call this Unique Advances. Uh, unique Advances. Okay. We can delete all this now since we don't need it. And I will make this the three three high three lines and then do several columns um, bring this down because we need another border and we'll do this maybe there's four do I have enough space for four no I don't could do for probably across now I should probably just do three because I like wideness of things except now I don't know if you can see but unique advances is too close to that one I think hmm do do we could probably bring this all up because we don't need this huge box for reward points. Can't speak. Don't need all of this. So let's see. I think I got everything unselected. Nope. Unselect that. Okay, cool. Okay. I think that should be plenty of space. Okay, cool. So yeah, see that it didn't take that long to do the professions page. I didn't think it was, I didn't think it needed the work, you know, most of the work came from, was around the character background and the combat profile and the magic profile. Um, I'm calling them right now combat profile, profession profile, and magic profile for consistency's sake. I will speak with um, uh, Daniel about what to actually call them. I, I, I prefer consistency across things. That's just me being me. And I think um, when you design uh, for people, um, if you call something one thing, try to always refer to it as that thing over and over and over again um this comes from my industry that i work in as for my professional life um i work in a juvenile uh, products industry and if you're writing an instruction manual which a game is kind of it's a, a game book is an instruction manual right um it's instructing people how to play your game 
you want to be consistent with your terminology. Um, we, I showed that a little bit in um, the first episode when I was digging into like the meat of the character sheet and the meat of character creation. I was getting confused, right? Like, wait, what's basic? Oh, are you talking about the basic tier? Okay, cool. Basic tier refers to the profession. Got it. And the other things, you know? And I think that's very important because I've come across it myself in the nine years of writing instruction manuals for products where you refer to, let's just say, a buckle one way, but then you call it something completely different in another section. But for 12 pages, you've been referring to buckle as, um, as this, but then you change it to a clip on like the 15th page and then you confuse people. Um, so consistency is very important um, to, to help people understand and drive home what things are. And I also try to stay away from shorthand when I can, um, if, there's, if there's the space for it to write the whole uh, um, stat or the whole thing out, I think it's important to do that. Um, I actually, um, tangent um talking about characters it's still character sheet design but it was another character sheet that i was designing where they were trying to use um symbols to represent um the stats right like agility and brawn and stuff like that right and i think it's very difficult to leave to use a symbol on its own to represent something without using a word um, to reinforce it, um, I would always say if you have the room, do both. That's great. I think it's wonderful uh, to have both a symbol and a word. But if you're cutting for space, I would say just use the word and spell it out um, because it's just people can interpret interpret symbols completely different. And you know, maybe you're designing for one audience. But somebody who's outside of that audience may pick up your game, may pick up your book, um, and they see something completely not like they wouldn't recognize it as that symbol because they're, they're not they're not part of that audience. Right. So um, we're at the point where <laughs> we're coming back to this stupid. <laughs> What do I do with these two things? Um, makes me frustrated. I, I'm trying to get away from using the word stupid a lot. I, it's just a bad habit. But this silly, like, how am I going to do this? I think what I'm going to do, and we just talked about consistency. Um, I have on every top of the sheet have put Zwahinder plus the um, um, whatever the sheet name is. I think I'm going to do it here as well. I think I'm going to go ahead and just bite the bullet and go ahead and do it here because I think might as well be consistent. I'm going to bring all this stuff up and I'm going to then bring this stuff down here <laughs> because I don't know what else to do with it right now. And this seems it's a puzzle. So this seems like the place where it should fit. So we're going to put it down here. And voila, we've got, we've got our character sheets. Um, I think the spacing up here might be a little bit too tight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it all down a little bit. I know we wanted margins. I'm going to leave the margins on the outside, the 0.5 inch. I think is what I put for the margins on the outside of the page. And I think I'm just going to center the character sheet in the middle though. So the top and the bottom are probably more like 0.375 or point something. Um, just because I want to be able to have the, um, the mast or not the masthead, the get a newspaper uh, or whatever. Um, I want the logo and the character sheet name to, to be, um, more space because if I'm, I'll, I'll get rid of these guides, um, hide the guides. You'll see that they're pretty, pretty close to the top, um, here. And we got a lot of space at the bottom. So I might just center them in the, in the sheet, but yeah, dang, look at this. 
six episodes uh and i'm i think this is looking real good thank you goblin cave yeah i think they look good too uh, and i'm i'm really happy with how they are turning out um for myself as a user right like i another little talking bit here um of course i started i started designing character sheets because i used to play dnd 3.5 i played it for like seven years and got my wizard to like 12th level i believe which started to get really kind of crazy with all the stuff and of course collecting all my items and everything over and over um i redesigned my 3.5 character sheet for myself um to make it easier for me to use as a player and that's kind of how i got started <laughs> designing character sheets i did it for myself for my own personal use um but yeah i think i think now we need to go in and kind of like fine tooth like am i missing anything here are these you know all the way out i'm zooming in um one of the episodes um that i will do probably next episode because i'm going to start working on the vertical sheet here in a second um is to actually do character creation again based but do character creation again, but just basically taking what I did at the beginning, uh, Helvetica Double Dagger, and just putting her stats in uh, and writing stuff out and seeing how it goes um, and trying out writing rituals, try writing out spells to see if I get any hang of this. Because I'm at the point where I feel good about where I'm at digitally, but I have to try using it again in order to confirm that the design choices I've made make sense for use um that's always a very important step you you design you test you design you test um because you don't want you want to confirm that you are doing indeed the right thing um i think this sheet looks pretty dang good on this side um i need to put in the um of and you know the Blank, blank, it blows blank, blank. So I'm gonna group this all and I'm going to center this into the page. Nope, I'm not because there's some random point that is making the selection align wrong. That's not what I wanted. What am I doing? Okay, get that point gone, good. Command G, group everything, bring it down a little bit. There's still something down here. Some random, some random ass point. Okay. Am I leaving something behind? I always leave stuff behind. Sorry. I left that line behind. Now I gotta go backwards a hundred steps. Okay. Um... We'll group all of this. Not you. I don't want to group you. I'm going to bring you down a couple. So give that Zweihinder thing. Also, I don't know what is going Oh, it's a clipping mask or something. Why is this logo like this? Release clipping mask. Is there another one? 500 clipping masks. Because I brought it in from InDesign. Clipping masks. Ugh. Why are you like this? You know what I'm going to do? Image trace. Let's just do high fidelity photo. Cool. Uh, expand. Man, I love Illustrator so much. That image trace is like my favorite goddamn thing whatever i'll keep those pieces in there for now i'll do file cleanup true file cleanup later so that way you guys don't have to sit and watch me do painstaking little tweaks to stuff my computer froze again it's having a hard day 
I've done a lot of work today on it and it's it's chugging um oh so goblin I'm sorry I wasn't paying attention I totally um told myself I was gonna keep looking over at chat but once I get caught up in stuff it's hard for me to um uh pay attention so goblin cave ask um is this for my own personal play or is this commissioned? Actually, I was commissioned by Daniel to redesign and uh, improve the user experience of the um, character sheet itself. My background is in graphic design. So visual communications, graphic design background. Um, I have a master's in instructional design and technology, um, but I also have user experience certification. And one of the things that user experience is about is function, flow, structure, um, and not about the actual like design elements. Um, so I've been working on specifically the flow, information flow and structure of, of the character sheet. Um, And I was commissioned um, by Daniel to 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 do this. Um, <laughs> yes, it's easy to get distracted. Also, I'm getting distracted because I'm getting frustrated because of my computer keeps uh, having um, brain farts. So, yes, I always um, try to design function first. And then you add uh, the form to the function, right? Function drives the form and you should never have, yeah. Okay, are we, are you okay now? Are you gonna be okay, computer? Okay, there we go. That to me looks a lot better, more space here at the top and then the space at the bottom is fine i'm going to ungroup this is where i start to get picky right like i see things that could be better um aligned things that were um out of whack That didn't get lined up very well because I was focusing on the overall and not the um, details. If I was to do this uh, um, from scratch, I would have done it. You know, I, I've talked about it before. I prefer Illustrator over uh, InDesign for for this kind of design. Um, and I transferring it over to uh, from InDesign to Illustrator was a little bit of a pain okay so i do this a lot too i i pull 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 back out look at it go okay um at this point like if i was doing this for um at home and i wasn't doing it on the stream i would print this out right now and i would mark up um my own edits uh and add things that i need to do kind of building a checklist because I've noticed for myself, it's hard for me to do editing or making like decisions and basically marking things up for improvement digitally. That's just how my brain works. Um, every time I've done a manual um, for work, when I get to the point where I think it's okay, good. Like I'm, I'm, I, I know there's more to it that I need to fix, but I think it's pretty good. I print it out and I sit down with it and I take time with it and I uh, go over it myself um but one thing i do want to bring up and talk about um i don't know if i can design it and talk about this at the same time but one of the things that i um want to emphasize when you're doing kind of this kind of design where you're trying to evaluate the user experience or um trying to understand if this will work for other people is you cannot review it yourself so even though I take the time to review it after I think I'm good and I sit down with it and I do it myself, 
that's not where it stops. I immediately give that uh, what I feel after my revisions are done to other people. Um, at work, I have two other people who work with me who are my employees. Um, they We do rounds of, of reviewing where we have internal reviews. So they review my work after I've done it, reviewed it, corrected it, reviewed it, corrected it, given it to them to review. Um, then they review it. And then after they're done reviewing it, we have external people review it. And even external to the project itself, we have, um, we have our people who are in R&D, who are the ones who made the product. But then I give it to other people in our, um, our company who are not part of the R&D team, who are part of the company, but not part of R&D. And I give it to them to look at. Um, so that way they can then <laughs> tell me what they had hangups with. Um, so a, an example, and I'm going, going off um, a work example. Um, so I do instruction manuals for car seats primarily, but other product categories as well. And we recently had a development for um, a new product coming out. And um, we've changed it in our company now, thank goodness, where we have outside people or people who are not familiar with the project looking at stuff and reading my instructions and trying to use the product prior to us doing even internal reviews or ex, you know, internal reviews with our teams, um, which has been super helpful. It's always a learning experience. Um, one of the things that I learned, and when I say car seats, I mean child restraints, like baby car seats or booster seats, all those kinds of things. And I'm so inundated in that field. Like it doesn't even, I don't even think about if someone doesn't understand something, right? Um, I. In one of the instructions, we were talking about the vehicle seat bite, B-I-G-H-T, which is basically what I call the ass crack of the seats. It's where the, the back of the bench meets the, the, the vehicle seat. And in that is like these little hooks where you can attach a car seat to using a, a belt, a specific belt with hooks on it. I have used that term vehicle seat bite for nine years. It is just a commonplace term for me. I know what it is. Everybody I work with know what it is. Anybody in the industry knows what that, knows what that is. Um, and I had put, I've been using it in the instruction manuals for years, years and years and years. Look in the vehicle seat bite, look in the vehicle seat bite. I had people start testing, uh, using my instructions and then like, <laughs> What does vehicle seat bite? Bigot? Big, they would say. Um, and it was just freaking hilarious to like realize people have no idea. And like, you just have this weird, like, it's your world, right? That nobody get it. And people got so confused. Is this a typo? Is this, what is this? I've never heard of this before. Do they mean vehicle seat belt? Do I hook this to the vehicle seat belt? And I watch people like hook things to the, like the view, like the, you know, the, the belt buckle, the, the, the tongue that goes into the buckle, hooking it into the hole. And I'm like, oh no, that's not at all what I meant. I can't say anything because you're doing user experience, right? When you watch people, you cannot tell them what they're doing wrong. You just have to watch. That's the best kind of testing, observational, pure observational, watch what they're doing, see how they're commenting on stuff. And then it's like, oh, sh oh shit, I should change that. I should change that. And so I think what I'm getting at here is like the same thing with character sheets, same thing with your, with your design. If you are too close to it, you need to have somebody so far removed from it that you want them to experience it. So that way you get that person, like, cause you don't know who's gonna be playing your game, right? You don't know who's gonna be playing it. You don't know who's gonna be using it. This could be somebody's first ever experience with an RPG and they have no idea what a thing is, right? I, and I've seen that before too with um, when I've been GMing and stuff. You, you, I sit down with a brand new player and what made me 
start doing this and I started doing this by, uh, I have a whole presentation. I have a, a blog, um, on my website, a three part article series. That's basically my, my presentation, um, for designing better character sheets up on my blog, rocklurker.com. And you can read it there. Um, I did it because I had a player who was so anxious, so nervous to do things wrong that, and I didn't even think, you know, to, to like basically guide her through because I'm just so used to, you know, people knowing games, like how to fill a character sheet out. And she was just so worried that she was doing it wrong. And, you know, things were out of order in the character creation. And she also um, uh, was like, I didn't fill stuff in here. Do I need to fill stuff in there? I feel like I haven't done it right because I haven't filled everything out. And I'm like, you you won't fill everything out because, you know, it might not relate to your character. So um, it's okay. But she didn't, she was... She didn't feel um, confident, is what I should say, in her abilities to when she first started playing um, a campaign. Okay. I've been jabbering a lot, and I don't know if I've been actually working on anything. <laughs> I've lost track of what I've been doing. I'm just trying to center everything up, trying to get it all... Um, all aligned. I just lost music. I'll put it back on. 6.45. Okay, you know what? I can mess with the alignment later. Let's go ahead and um, try and build a vertical. So I'm going to copy this artboard. Let me check chat real quick. Let's make this eight and a half by 11. Oh. Already I can feel owie. <laughs> okay. This is going to be interesting to make this vertical. I think obviously this difficulty rating box is going to be in this order alignment box is going to have to be horizontal this is going to go to the top right okay cool i should probably set up my guides i show 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 guides for me for a second thank you Oh, I should probably move it so... Well, it doesn't really freaking matter. Because it's vertical, not horizontal. What is going on? Oh, the guides are locked. That's why. Unlock. Unlock. We're at 0.5 here. And we'll do 0.5 here. Whoa, that's not 0.5. That's 0.5. Okay. Terrified. Lock guides again. Huh. So here's where we're going to have fun. I got to look at the original character sheets. Nope, those are my Dungeon World character sheets. Um... I need more space around my desk. I'm the stream life, this design freelance life has got my desk and my work from home life. You know, when I wasn't working from home all the time for my day job, I was like, oh, I could have a nice area for for home stuff, homework, homework. Um, but now everything is over here. I've got like three computers and a lot of paper and a ton of stuff. Yeah, I need like a giant desk. Like, I need to get one that's like an L shape. Like, you can just, like, have an area over here that's comes around. <sighs> okay, so this is scary. 
I think this will be easy to do down here. I just got to figure out, you know what? Maybe it's not so scary. Maybe because of this, we can have more on a line. Right? Uh-huh. And I can still have the difficulty raining over here. Ooh hoo hoo. Ooh hoo hoo. Let's try it. Let's <laughs> see if I can get away with it. I don't know if I can. Probably not. But I will try. <laughs> because if I don't have to redesign oh I'm gonna have to redesign stuff. Okay, whatever. We'll move on to uh, this one, which is also going to be a nightmare and a half, I think. Just to, just to, oh, I did not copy it. I need to copy this, alt, because I'm using a Mac. Alt, and then do eight and a half by 11. Ooh. Hopefully I did not design myself into an absolute corner. I shouldn't have. It should be pretty easy to do. 11. Okay. Obviously, the profession seat will be um, much easier to do. And then the magic sheet. Okay. Eight and a half by 11. That's what we want. Oops. There we go. Okay, so we got these sheets. So I think what we're going to do is for this one, let's just go ahead and move this stuff up. I think peril and the threshold, the peril threshold damage and the injuries are gonna go across the top. I think I can move stuff over. I think we're gonna be good there. Knock on wood. Let's see if I can get the combat profile at least somewhat into a shape of verticalness before I end the show. I'm really excited because after after the um, after stream, I'm gonna make uh, Cornish pasties. I'm very hungry and I'm ex very excited to make a pastry, a pasty. So I think peril is probably gonna go across the top. I'll lock the guides. You're locked. I'm gonna group this so they nobody gets left behind. I'm gonna group you. No. No font word left behind. You all move together as one. Oh my god, if I do this and it works out so well, I'm gonna I'm gonna cry. Watch me cry on stream. Mm. Oh my god, did I do this? Did I make magic happen? Oh, so close. Ooh. I think I did. I think I can adjust it to be perfect. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. I'm gonna barely have to do anything to make this all work. Ugh, what joy. What an absolute freaking th good thing to see. Ugh, I'm a freaking genius. Excuse me, while I bask in my own glory for a minute. You gotta take you gotta take celebration, take get it and enjoy. And when you succeed at something, just revel in it, cause yes. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. 
you guys, I'm gonna have to barely do in, like I'm gonna have to do some minor tweaking, but it's basically done. Holy crap. Like I could just adjust stuff over a little bit more. Um, we're freaking good. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm so excited. Ah. Uh. We'll do adjustments later. I always do, like I s said before in previous episodes, I like to get like the um, larger picture done first, then worry about um, the details because yeah, like there's no point in, in trying to get caught up in the details. So for this, I think what I gotta do is I gotta do them horizontal, right? So let's move. Let's get unique advances out of here. Wow, I don't know what I was doing that. What was happening there? Oh my gosh, come on. Come on, computer, I believe in you. Thank you. No. Yes, thank you. Okay. Let's bring you out over here. Great. Basic tier. Intermediate tier. Trait. Ooh. I think the only thing we're gonna have problems with here is the advanced, the unique. Um, oops, advanced here first. And then profession and trait. Okay. Yeah, so I think we're gonna have the unique advances is gonna be, maybe I could do something funky. Like that. I could do something fun like that. That sh would be great. Let's just go ahead and do quick lines. Align. Why are you not aligning? Oh my gosh, my computer is freaking out. Okay. I just need space, so. And we got a lot of vertical space. Um, or excuse me, horizontal space. Not a lot of vertical space. I guess I could even do, um, nope, I'm not gonna do that. JK, I don't know what I was thinking. But you'll never know either because I'm not gonna talk about it. Boop, boop. Okay, you're being a little bit funky, okay. So I think then I could just do the same like boxes down here, right, yeah. Look at that, a thing of beauty. Basically, this is all set up now. Cool. I'm excited for this. Sweet. It looks like a mess. <laughs> all these grids and all these guides. We'll hide the guides real quick. So, I think this is probably a good place for me to stop right now. Um, and, whoops, I'm sliding away. Slide back in. So, I am happy. This is really nice when things just kind of fit and uh, fit in nice into the other format. Um, so, I'm really excited that it seems to be working out pretty dang well. Um, so, this is it for today. We got through the profession profile. Um, we looked over at the magic profile that I did. Um, and now we're working through the vertical sheets. And so for next time, I'll probably um, take some time before the show, like I usually do, just to get my file set up, make it look a little bit nicer. Um, and so that way when we get into it, I can think and talk and, and, at the, and design at the same time. I'm gonna save this real quick. I should always be saving, but when I'm talking and I'm getting distracted, I'm trying to do too many things at once, I forget. So saved, we're good, version five. Um, 
I've been keeping each version too, so we can even do at the end of this, like see the iterations. Um, I might make a PDF of it or put it up on my blog or something so that we could see the, the process through. Um, but yeah, so next time we'll finish up the vertical character sheets and either during that episode or another episode after, we will print it out um, and actually do again where I'm showing me uh, filling things out um, at, to, to test it out to see if it's, it works. Because we might find that I didn't leave enough space or it's too small or something like that or it could be better or I missed something. Um, and we can uh, take the time to adjust that. And yeah, and I'll keep doing this for as long as it takes. I really enjoyed this show and I hope I can do more Design Hinder stuff in the future. Um, so thanks for watching, uh, thanks for hanging out, and um, yeah, things that I do, you can find me. Um, I'm gonna stop this music right now, and I'm gonna go to a different scene so you can see more of me, <laughs> and not the design mess that I have on my board right now. But anyway, so yes, uh, you can find me on Twitter at Rocket Orca. Um, you can see that blog post that I talked about, the article, the three-part article about designing better character sheets on my website, rocketorca.com. Um, it also has my portfolio. You can check it out. You can also follow me on uh, Twitch as well. Um, I do some streaming, twitch.tv slash Rocket Orca. Um, I do design stuff. I've been working on enamel pins. I also have a book club right now that I've started up, reading Annihilation. Um, so yeah, you can come see, hang out, uh, chat with me there and on Twitter. Um, and yeah, thanks to Daniel and Matt so much for having me on. Um, I know that Zwei Hunter RPG Twitch, they are also looking for shows. So if you're interested in um, maybe doing something for them as well, uh, you can reach out to Matt. And unfortunately, Matt, I don't have your Twitter up and I... <laughs> Forget your Twitter account every time. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Why am I like this? Okay, it's at J-O-W-Z-A-M-3. So yeah, reach out to Matt if you have any ideas for uh, Swinehinder. And yeah, thanks again. And I will see you all next Thursday, same time, same place. And I'm going to go make some pasties now. Yes! Bye, everybody.